Hello everybody, my name is Necroxus. It is approximately one week, exactly one week, not approximately, until World of Warcraft Shadowlands, and we're finally getting a high-res cinematic, and it looks like this is the one that we see all those screenshots in those magazines from. It's about the Jailer, um, or at least that's what the thumbnail is, so I have no idea what this is going to be. It is called Beyond the Veil, so I don't know what this is going to be. I don't have any theories. I don't know what's left for them to advertise. I guess maybe the Jailer as a threat, but we're just going to watch it and see what happens. So here we go. In three, two, one, now. Beyond the Veil lies the Shadowlands, where every soul has its place. Nice. That looks so good, man. Look at our queen! She's such a badass. She's the best Covenant leader by far. And then we have Boring Maldraxxus. With its lack of a leader. <laughs> Who's that? She's just nobody. <laughs> Beyond the veil lies darkness, where every soul has its place. <laughs> I'm sorry. He looks so doofy that I don't know if it's like his teeth, his fangs are too big or what's going on there, but the jailer is just so I don't know, man. Every single thing of piece of information that we learned about him, the jailer is just such a boring character. He's such a boring one-note villain. It's like it's so the old gods are mysterious and you don't really know what they're always going to do. Um and then we had Argus and Sargeras, where we learned a whole bunch of new information right at the very end that made it at least a little bit more interesting. And then we had, you know, Gul'dan, my favorite villain of all time, was pretty much the final villain of the of that expansion. We had Garrosh with his mortal machinations and desires. Um, Deathwing um, was also pretty a one-note villain, but at least he looked cool. Um, I even really liked Deathwing's, like, tentacle form at the very end, and I know a lot of people didn't like it. The Lich King was iconic. Illidan was a very nostalgic character. The Jailer Man, I don't know. I feel like they've done zero legwork to make us give two shits about this character as a villain. Um, he looks really doofy. I very, very much prefer the original concept art model of him. Um, but seeing everything in very high res is great, because that means... That they have high-res models of the Winter Queen, Denathrius, the Jailer. Um, I believe that's supposed to be Margrave Crexus, but if you play the Maldraxxus storyline... Uh, um, I don't think they showed us Crestia or Kirstia, the, the Archon. Um, but that means that they can use those things in future HD cinematics while having to redo the intensive computing work to make their, their renders. So that's exciting. Um, we didn't really learn anything else. This this felt more like a like an online commercial trailer rather than like honestly. Now that I think about it, it's very very different from literally any of the other HD cinematics we've gotten before. Whether it's the introduction to um, you know Warlords of Draenor with drinking of the blood, that was like they were put giving us a lot of lore right in that short cinematic. Um, or, you know, literally any of the other ones. The Pandaria one was really cool, but it wasn't really, like, more new lore, but it was an introduction to this land that hasn't existed um, in the canon as, like, a visitable place ever before. So, you know, the Legion one had a lot of um, action and stakes put into it. This one felt more like we're advertising the expansion, which I don't... 
eh. Not terrible at all by any stretch, but it's not super interesting. Also, the Jailer being chained up, I'm like 100% sure I've seen people play through the introduction in the Maw, and he's not. So I don't know why... I don't know if that's just supposed to be like an image of him projected standing there in the Maw um, without his chains on, and he still is chained up or not, or what's going on there. But... Um, yeah, I would have liked to have seen Sylvanas standing next to him. Um, just, it makes sense. <laughs> Far be it for me to say I want more Sylvanas and stuff, but it would have been nice to see him stand, her standing with him because she is a, she is basically the second antagonist of this expansion. So, hmm. Um, but you know, it was, it was fine for what it is. The Winter Queen's the best. I was hoping, cause we heard the Archon's voice is what I should have pointed out when I was just talking about her. We heard her talking about like what the Shadowlands is. It would have been nice to have like a like a paragraph or so of narration, and each line change from like the Archon to the Winter Queen to Crexus, or even they could just use the Primus because they do have a voice actor for the Primus, um, and then Denathrius, and then finally, like it would be interesting if the trailer had a line from each one of the Covenant leaders being like, "The Shadowlands is the place where souls go to rest." Whether they be noble, and then like it shifts to like the Winter Queen, and it says, or pure guardians of nature and land, and then it shifts again to um, the Primus, and he says like, or fierce warriors who whose unwavering spirit is a inspiration to us all, and then it shifts to Denathrius, and he says something like, or those who may have thought a little bit too much of themselves in life, or make that sound better. And then it shifts to the jailer, and he says his little thing about it relies shadow. Like I feel like that would have been way more cool and effective, um, because I don't want to say this feels like it's not a lot of effort, because I know these HD cinematics take months to do, but I would have wanted something, something else, like something else. Like, if I was a new player who didn't know what was going on, and this was supposed to be advertising to me, I'd have no idea what the fuck's going on. Um, and even as a, as a long-time veteran, I'm kind of just like, eh. So, I don't know. It was cool, but it's there's not much to say about it. Um, it is what it is, I guess. I wasn't expecting this is what we were going to get when we saw the picture of the Jailer, which everyone and their mother, including me, has said, like, oh, that means, obviously, an HG Cinematic is coming, so... I don't know. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. I'm curious who you thought what I'm curious who you guys thought who this trailer was for. Is this the intro intro No, this isn't the introduction to the game because that's the Bolvar with Sylvanas one in Ice Crown. That's the expansion trailer, isn't it? Not that plays at the beginning of every game. Is it that one or this? It's gotta be the Sylvanas one, right? So what What was the point of this? I don't know. All right, well, let me know what you guys thought about any of this in the comments below. But until then, I'll see you next week when the expansion comes out. Thanks, stay awesome, stay safe, wear your fucking masks, and uh, you guys have a great week. See ya.